I've almost drowned like five or six times in my life and I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, after the second time, wouldn't you just stop going near bodies of water? But I'm much like a pug who enjoys the family pool. I know it might kill me, but I love the occasional splish splash. I can like doggy paddle and can keep my head above water for about three, maybe two minutes. At the four minute mark, I am just Jack at the end of the Titanic. <laughs> This is a story of my last near drowning experience that actually made me stop trying to swim. A couple years ago, my boyfriend and I went to California, the beach in California with huge waves. There were hundreds of people on the beach. Because of my propensity to drown, even in shallow water, I didn't anticipate that I was gonna swim this day. My boyfriend is an incredibly strong swimmer. So the moment we got to the beach, I went and laid in the sand and he, like a baby sea turtle, made a mad dash for the ocean. This man said, to the ocean. Not a backward glance. There's a man and his wife at the towel adjacent from me and I look at them meaningfully and I'm like, will you watch my stuff? And they're like, go ahead, get in the water, girl. And I said, thanks, fellas. <laughs> I didn't say fellas. I don't know why I reach out stories like that. Mind you, I do have a full face of makeup on, uh, but we don't plan on getting our faces wet. We're just gonna do a little splish, a little splash, and then we're gonna run back to our towel in slow motion. I'm splishing, I'm splashing. At one point I think to myself, I don't know why I never get in the ocean. This is actually great. Sebastian was right. It was then that I felt a section pulling me deeper into the ocean. That is what happens when a very big wave is coming. I, who know nothing about the ocean, was like, is that a whirlpool? <laughs> oh no, not a whirlpool. Whirlpools and quicksand are two things I thought I would need to be very prepared for as an adult. Trying to turn my body and escape, struggling against the tide, like I was walking on the moon. I can hear the wave behind me, it's huge. In that very moment, it felt like a semi-truck took me out. So I'm being dragged along the ocean floor back to the shore by this wave. King Trident was using me as a human Swiffer wet jet. Ah! Couldn't hear that because the water, so it was more like <laughs> Finally, I'm able to come up for air and I'm kicking, screaming, I'm spitting up water. I can't swim! I can't swim! Finally, I hear my boyfriend go, Taryn, get up! He grabs me by my arm and pulls me up. I can literally stand up in the water. So I was like laying, trying to swim on shore. Somehow, one eyelash was still on. Not an ad, but shout out to Duo Eyelash Glue. I think, thank God, I'm going to live. And then I stand and realize that my bikini did not make it with me. And then I thought, my God, I'm going to die. I don't know if you've ever had your bikini ripped away by the ocean in front of what feels like the entire state of California. You will never be the same after. This lip combo, contour stick, dark brown lip liner, and Carmex. That is my lip combo. Amazing. Remember that? Oh, right. Stand and I realize that I am Nikki against my will. And I drop back into the ocean, and then another wave comes and sends me a tumbling. I can't get the top on, I can't see. My eyelash that's still intact has been glued my bottom lashes together. So I'm like one-eyed willy out in, the <laughs> out in the surf. I limp back up to the beach. I look like a soaking wet rat. Bikini is disheveled, but intact. I still had sand in my mouth. Then and there, I decided I will never attempt to swim again. Anyways, I'm going to the hardware store to buy a screwdriver.